Hello! If you're new to the channel, usually what I do is make videos about Irish folklore, storytelling, and occasionally about my fucked up eye. My esteemed colleague in YouTube, uh, Ginny D, made a very fun video recently where she was role-playing as a character of hers, a healer, healing another character, and has been encouraging people to make their own videos of their character being healed by her character and filling in the other half of the conversation. So I thought, yeah, this, this is fun. I could do this. I've played a lot of characters. And then I thought to myself, which one of my characters would be the most hilariously incongruous? And so, of course, I chose the dimension-hopping, time-traveling wizard pirate known as Ash Jones. If you watch Azrai's channel, then you've probably already seen Ash. Um, if you watch, if you've only been looking at Azrai's uh, TikTok, then yes, Ash is related to Willet Jones. Ash is Willet's first cousin, long lost cousin. Ash is a, a chaotic, extremely chaotic individual. I, I hope you have fun with Ash. Right, quick PSA. I could have tracked down the music Ginny was using for this, or I don't know, asked her and then painstakingly matched it up with the Ash clips, but I wasn't arsed. So instead, I decided the best thing and the funniest thing to do would be to use completely different music for Ash's clips and to make it the most stereotypical nonsense that I could possibly think of. So so here you fucking go, all right? This, this, is, this is what I did. This is what I have wrought. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and despair. Whoa! Welcome back to the world of the living! Which one? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You weren't dead. It's just a figure of speech. That was quite a look. Have you been dead before? Ah, well, sure. I've seen myself die. But don't think of experienced death from from that end yet. Well, don't worry, you were just unconscious. You are injured though, took an arrow in the battle, luckily didn't hit anything vital. Oh, no, don't look down. You don't need to see all that blood. Just look at me. What's your name? Ash Downs. That's a unique one. Where are you from? I am from another dimension. Another place in time and in space. That wasn't meant to rhyme. Wow, you're a long way from home. Do you ever miss it? Ah, sure, well, you know yourself, like. Ever plan on going back? Ah, sure, listen. Last time I left Willet unsupervised for too long, they ended up in a, in a fictional universe created by a feckin' turf. I'm Elowen, by the way. But you can call me Ellie, I don't mind. Do you have any nicknames? Ash is my nickname. No one gets to hear me birth name. All right, seems like you might have hit your head when you went down. Can you follow my finger with your eyes? Very good. Any nausea? Do you know what day it is? Tell me uh, your favorite animal. I sure it's the fucking badger. Badger all the way. Okay, you seem fine. Hope you don't like this shirt, because uh, I need to get a look at what is going on down there. Yeah, that is beyond repair. Do you have a lot more clothes at home, or just kind of it? Do you think I'm a fucking cartoon character or something? Of course I got more than one set of bleeding clothes. Wow, that is quite a nasty scar. How'd you get that one? Uh, uh, that scar? That scar I got from a fight with a laser raptor. That's a raptor. A velociraptor made entirely of lasers. Yeah, I'll bet you tell that story at parties. Well, you're gonna get to add another story to the list after today. You are gonna be fine. We just gotta get that arrow out of there. You're in good hands. I only lose half my patience. Sorry, joke. 
My dark sense of humor sometimes makes for poor bedside manner. Are you a jokester too, or more of a serious type? Asher, listen, there was this one time, me and some of me mates, we were being chased by a Dullahan, which is like this big, headless fairy that carries its own severed head around and, and chases down the dead. We weren't dead, but we pissed it off. And and it's very hard to lose the Dullahan, but, but the Dullahan is afraid of gold. So I summoned a leprechaun. And the leprechaun showed up with his little pot of gold and the Doolahan was fucking terrified and ran like fuck the other way. <laughs> so I think that answers your question. Okay, this might hurt. One, two, stop, stop squirming. Tell me about uh, the last great meal you had. What's your favorite food? That'd be the laser raptor again. Lasers are surprisingly tasty and nutritious. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Are you a picky eater or will you just kind of eat anything? Uh, sure, well, when you're traveling all over time and space, you don't get much option. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, you're doing great. I know. I'm sorry. That probably hurt. How well do you deal with pain normally? I'll put it this way, I did this to myself, but it didn't, it didn't fuck up my eye myself, obviously, I just took it out and replaced it, and there was no anaesthetic, so. Never mind, don't think about that. Think about, uh, your party. I noticed you came in here with a few others, that must be nice. Do you enjoy being part of a group like that? Ah, uh, sure, like, there's Fletch, or, or. Dr. Emmanuel Fletcher, to give him his proper name. Now he's a cryptozoologist, but he's got the fucking survival instinct of tissue paper in a fucking volcano. And then there's, there's Wendy. Now she's a character from a fucking storybook who just appeared on the ship one night. And then there's Cathbad. He He's a robot owl that I made when I was 12. I'm sure they're grand like they're they're fine it's, it's, it's nice having the company sometimes I like having time to myself you know can you keep pressure on this please thank you they seem like a really nice bunch all safe by the way a few of them are getting patched up too any party members in particular you were real worried about what I'm fucking worried about is the feckin' ship. They leave them alone too long, they'll have it halfway to the fucking sixth dimension. And they won't even know what they're fucking doing it. It's good to have people you can rely on. But we all need some privacy too. Any secrets you're keeping from your party? I know I'm not allowed to keep secrets anymore. <laughs> I didn't tell them I was doing this, they thought this was an eye patch. <laughs> I sort of, um, stole something from the Fae and grafted it to me bodies to make this work, and they, they weren't happy that I was keeping that from them. You know, there was a time when I thought I wanted to do adventuring on my own. Never got the guts to actually do it. Now I'm too old. Turned 90 last week. I would rather drop dead right here than give up my mattress for a bedroll under a tree. Do you like traveling all the time or do you just put up with it? Ah, no, it's feckin' great. This might sting, by the way. If I had to camp outside, <laughs> I would be up all night worrying. I just stitched somebody up yesterday who woke up with a blade at his throat. Good old bandit alarm clock. Are you an insomniac like me, or are you one of those lucky bastards who can just sleep anywhere? Sure, listen, if I, if I could replace the bit of me brain that needs sleep, I'd fucking do it. Me, the older I get, harder it is to sleep. I feel like I lose an hour every decade. Seems unfair, considering that I feel more tired now than ever. How old are you? Ah, sure, I've been back and forth through time so often I don't even remember. 
I don't I don't have a fucking solid reference point anymore. Probably like late twenties, early thirties, I don't know. You're doing great, by the way. Just stay still. Almost done. Adventuring's a bit of a young person's game, don't you think? Are you worried about how things will change when you're older? Sure, well like to begin with, I know I'm not gonna get that much older because I already killed me future self in the past and I wasn't that much older than I was now so not really <laughs> you have a five-year plan or just taking it day by day sure look 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 listen listen even if I do get to be old which I which I fucking won't oh my granny my granny is over a hundred fucking years old and is still going all over time and space just doing whatever the fuck she wants. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> well, maybe when the time comes, you can try something that is a little less dangerous. You have any special talents or fun hobbies you could pay the bills with if you sheathed your sword for good? I suppose. I suppose we could go back to the family business. See, we're, uh, we're artificers. Technomancer. The best fucking technomancers in the multiverse. I could go back to taking on odd jobs and commissions and stuff, but, like, I don't really see it coming up. And we are done. Try to take it easy for a few days. Don't get it wet. After about a week, you'll need to take the stitches out. Is there somebody you'd trust to help you with that, or you more of a do-it-yourself type? Well, in the future, do me a favor and try not to get shot by any more arrows. I'm sure you are a great warrior. Just try to be a little bit less of a great target. Evan. Over well, this has been a pleasure, but I have to go lend a hand for an amputation. No pun intended. It's a leg we're removing. It was nice to meet you. I hope we never have to do this again. I sound sure. Sure, if they if they need a prosthetic, give us a shout. Right. Okay. Yeah, that was the thing. That was the thing. I hope you had fun with the thing. Anyway, bye.